I bought a lot of dolls from a Facebook doll group. Let's see what's inside. Hello and welcome to Dolls Unbox, where I unbox dolls and do doll makeovers. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get into this box. I am very curious to see them because it was quite a bit of money. In the end, I will show you how much it was. Here they are. Oh my goodness. These are all, wow, these are all Gen 1 Monster High dolls. Let's see what we get. I am going to pop the box on the side there and uh, I'll go one by one. First up, we have uh, this doll. I can't really remember her name, but there she is. She's one of the sea monsters. She's a bit squeaky. But she's still in good condition. I think she's missing a shirt, uh, but she has her bracelets. Her hair looks a bit, it's soft, but it looks a bit, uh, you know, like it can use a wash. Her head is quite hard. Uh, sort of, it's still squishable. This is one of the few Gen 1 dolls that has articulation on the waist. Pretty sure this is a Gen 1 doll. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, there she is. There is a Toralai doll. She has some earrings still. And one of her paws has a glove. And uh, it looks like this is still the factory hairdo. I do like that little twist there. She still has her tail as well. And she looks pretty good for a Gen 1 doll. Your hair is not, it's not greasy at all. This is a well looked after doll. This is Claudine and I'm pretty sure this is one of the sister packs. So she came with her sister in this and she looks like she's pretty much complete. I think she only came with one leg, uh, one sock. Yeah, um, her clothing looks pretty good. Her hair though, it's so greasy and uh, Use with some, do with some extra plugs of hair there. This would be a nice cleanup doll or even a makeover doll. I do like her hair like this though. Here's another Claudine Wolf doll. Wow, her hair though. Whoosh. No earrings, nothing. And that's just a Claudine Wolf doll. We have a Laguna doll and uh, her arm is a bit scuffed up. And her hair can do with a wash. Watch out, I'm sure this one this is has some glitter on the eyes there. This hand is also scuffed up. She's missing her fins on her legs. As do all the Laguna dolls, I think, from Gen 1. Another Laguna. Um, different makeup. And again, the arms are a bit scuffed. They also, they're also a different tone to the arms for both dolls. And the leg fins are missing too. Don't really mind that though. A Rochelle doll. She is so pretty. Look at her face. So pretty. I actually like her stone skin. I love that. So if I ever do a makeover for this doll, I might actually keep her skin like this because it's really pretty. Maybe some shading with some dark gray. Let me know what you think. Another Laguna doll. I think we're going to see Laguna a lot in this box. Uh, she's a bit yellow. She has a different hand. And again, different makeup. Must be a different one altogether again. She has some green in her hair. Uh, completely not a Laguna hair tie. And it's quite short. Is this Cleo? Oh, she is a bit... Um, Yep. Jingly. I think this is Cleo. She uh, she needs some TLC. That's all I've got to say. This is a Cleo doll though. Might actually be both Cleo. Completely black hair with tinsel and 
deck with green and purple. Love this. I wish they did that with the Gen 3 ones. That is so pretty. And she still has her dress and she still has her shoes. Another Laguna without a face. She's so bug-eyed. Um, blue streaks in the hair this time. Another Laguna, I suppose. We have a Gulia. Look how poofy her hair is. Um, yeah, that can... Uh, wow, that is a lot of hair. I wonder if we would crimp this. It looks like it has been crimped before or it was crimped before. I wonder if we can salvage this. Still a bit of a hair tie there. And here as well. She is a pretty doll though. Very pretty face. We have another Rochelle doll with a dress and an arm sleeve. I have no clue if this actually belongs to her. Again, I love her face. She's so pretty. There's Twyla, one of my favorite dolls, and she has crimped hair. And it, wow, it's, um, is this one of the electrifying dolls? I think so. It has some black streaks and purple. Purple at the base. I do like this hair and color scheme. I just think, uh, can we salvage this? I don't know. It feels very dry. But she's so pretty. Oh goodness me, another Laguna. Uh, again with green hair. There's a bit of a smudge on her face. Yeah. <laughs> is this Spectra? If it is, then yay me. If it's not, let me know. <laughs> it looks like her hair had a chop. It's very soft, but it's, uh, yeah. It looks like it had a chop. I might be wrong. Nice doll to customize though, pretty face sculpt and uh, a nice, you know, canvas. It's white. Ooh, we have Jane Bulletle, I think. Another purple doll, just like Twyla. Is that the same? Not quite. I do like this hair color scheme. It's a very, very dark navy with a, or almost a purple with black and magenta throughout and she has a very pretty face like they all have pretty faces but you know laguna is less preferenced <laughs> let's put it like that is this one of those monster mashups i don't know i need to do my research um draculaura very matted hair with blue and pink her face is still pretty Nothing wrong with her face, and this would make a very nice steampunk doll. I can't remember her name to save my life, um, but it's a cat and no tail. Very pink hair, which probably can be salvaged. Um, it's a bit fluffy, but it's not super oily, so that's not too bad. By the way, if you have any ideas for these doll makeovers, let me know. I'm, I'm curious to know and just, you know see what you all have to say another laguna uh again with blue in her hair uh, she's a bit floppy in the knees but other than that pretty good another spectra a perfect face for this one short hair no idea who she is which line and i can see in the box there's another spectra it looks like this is the same one is this from the beach like the swimming this looks like a bathing suit that is removable that's a, a, a skirt that's on top and her shoes this one looks complete as well oh i love this one oh, what is her name um nessie is it something like that she's missing her leg fins still has her shoes a skirt her top one earring does she come with just one earring? It does have a hole there though. And her hair looks like it's just from factory. Um, it has a lot of product in here. This is Venus McFly Trap. This must be one of my favorite dolls. I love her color scheme. She has some smudges on her face, but I would love to make her into Poison Ivy. Would love to do that. Another Spectra 
with clothing and again a very pretty face and her hair just looks like factory hair it almost looks like i was going to say it almost looks like this one but the makeup is different the hair coloring is the same though we have another cat here oh this looks like tentacles spider legs gross uh don't know which cat this is uh, has some smudges on the face feels gritty and gross because her hair is absolutely disgusting um still has her tail so that's good this is operetta and she has such a pretty pattern on her face and her shoulder so pretty and her face sculpt is absolutely stunning i love this one i kind of like the color scheme as well with the green and red so villainous this is the headless headmistress i think uh, she's a bit taller than the rest and i think her feet are a bit bigger too very pretty face sculpt a little bit like operetta um yeah i wouldn't mind making her into some a badass chick Another Jane Bulletle. Ooh, her hair is pretty soft, I have to say. We can do something with that. That is uh, pretty good still. Although I have to say, there is some short hair here, which is questionable. Another um, Claudine Wolf. No clue who this is. Um, something with shipwrecks, probably. She has one peg leg. Uh, maybe she's a ghost. I have no clue. Is she a Gen 1, 2, or 3? I really have not a clue. You'll let me know in the comments down below, because uh, I don't know. I don't know if this hair is salvageable. It's pretty producty and maybe a little bit bold in some spots. Oh, again, I don't know who this is. Uh, not my favorite, I don't think. Very sweet face, but. A little bit like Laguna, uh, would not be my first choice of doll. We have another Claudine. Um, yeah, pretty standard Claudine with light brown streaks in her hair. She has some light brown here too. That's actually not too bad for her hair coloring. Ooh, we have a Frankie. This hair looks actually pretty good, uh, but I know that there is glue seepage. I feel it's all crunchy and it's like her forehead is like solid. Um, silver neck peg um, or a bolt I should say don't know which one this is glittery eyes another Frankie and her hair and the hair looks pretty good um, looks like it's played around with a little bit another Frankie I don't know which one this is Ooh, does this come off it does interesting like it's it's like it, there is a pacifier in the mouth but yeah um let's just leave her there we have a draculaura the first one in here uh besides the steampunk one and she looks a very sweet as a draculaura does there is a leftover hair lucky no it's just hair that looks very greasy and uh yeah, she looks pretty good. And the last one, the box is empty now. Is is this a Nefera or is this a? I think this is just a Cleo. She's why are all these Cleos so floppy? Anyway, she's wearing a pretty dress, and uh, yeah, I'll leave in this video somewhere on the screen how much this haul was. This person was so kind to me and I said, whatever you have on sale right now, I want to buy whatever is left. So I did. And we came to an agreement on the price. They shipped it to me from Australia. I'm in Australia as well. And uh, here we are. I'm just noticing that this Frankie has a chewed up hand. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you like this kind of content, like, comment and subscribe. And I would appreciate your support. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.